Hi guys, welcome back to Otter's RC Garage. Today we are out at the lake and we have a new toy. We got a new Traxxas Blast. This is, this is actually my son's RC. He got this for his birthday this year. So I figured we'd uh, show it off and show you guys what, what all it can do. First thing about this, uh, this has a pretty unique style uh, thrust system. It uses the prop actually attached to the rudder with a U-joint here to drive it and turn at the same time to prevent the binding and whatnot. Um, you can actually adjust the prop angle up here at the top uh, with this bolt nut here. You know, loosen it up and you slide it back and that will actually give the prop more angle up. Uh, we have not messed with that at all yet. We just sort of left to be. Uh, it's running perfectly fine the way it has. We have taken it out one time. It does move pretty well. As you guys can see, this is a plastic prop. It's a twist-on style prop. Uh, a lot of people say one of the best upgrades you can do for this little boat is get a, get a brass prop. Uh, the brass props, they're supposed to, uh, for one, you can sharpen them. They stay sharpened a little bit longer. Um, they also tend to hold up to uh, impact damage a little better. And also, they are prone to less cavitation. Uh, at least that's what I've been told. Uh, I do not know that for sure, but that's what I've been told. Other external features, it does have its own new uh, decal scheme. You can see here, this is where the water comes out for the cooling system. The cover, the cover, as you can see, is on a rubber band. So that's to hold it down, keep it sealed. Uh, it's supposed to make for easy access. It is a little bit of a pain, to be honest. Uh, might try and rethink that, or I don't know, we'll see. So you can see the motor is water cooled. Uh, picks up off the back here. Picks up off of this. Uh, this looks to be like a leftover part. There's nothing that comes attached to this but it does use this uh, little straw here to have the water forced up into it and then through that coil which cools the engine and then spits the water out the side this is running a nautica motor esc i am probably going to be upgrading that pretty soon uh, the biggest drawback to this esc is that it does not have a reverse i don't know why they still use it seems like the reverse is a pretty simple thing to add so a uh, good replacement from what I've been told is the XL5 uh, same as like what's on a TRX4 has forward and reverse you can uh, sort of change the settings a little bit on it you can also run lipo then and it has a lipo cut off uh, it does have a pretty good steering servo it's the uh, 2056 uh, good enough for a run a boat this size and this caliber uh, the motor is a 12-turn Stinger, Traxxas Stinger motor. Uh, they say that this is a new motor for, this is a new motor for this uh, model with these graphics. I'm not 100% on that, but that is what they say. So, this is also running the uh, Traxxas 2.4 top qualifier remote it is the more basic version of the setup but it is just a boat and that's really all that you need is steering trim and it'd be nice to have forward and reverse but anyways we're gonna get this out on the water and we will show you what this thing can do all right and she's good to go <laughs>
Alright guys, I hope you really liked this video. That was Zane driving the whole time. This is his very first boat. I think he did a great job. We got some really cool shots. I'm anxious to see that underwater footage. Obviously you guys probably already seen it at this point. If it's any good, it made it the video. But this is a great buy, I tell you what. We got probably a good 20, 25 minutes of run time out of it at pretty much full throttle the whole time. I highly recommend this boat to anybody, especially if you're a beginner just starting to get into boats and you want to see if it's something that's worth it. This is definitely a great one to grab. Comes with everything you need to run it. Drive it just as fast as you'd want it to go, especially for a beginner. And it looks as real as it can. Um, got, I, I'm pretty sure I even caught footage of him catching air off of a wave at one point. It's a really good handling boat out there in the water, even in, with the bigger waves. Alright guys, so is this what you guys like watching? Let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.